Hi everybody, I'm Bill Sanders and this is Watch Art Sci, the art and science of watch collection. Uh, today I want to talk about Certina watches. Uh, Certina watches are a watch that uh, they're owned by the Swatch Company. They're not that well known in the United States, even though uh, it's very easy to get one through uh, Amazon or through Joma Shop or a number of other uh, places where you can pick one up. The good thing about it, they are, is that if, especially if you're, if you don't have much money, <laughs> they're a lot less expensive. They're, uh, they're fairly, they're good, they're a good watch, but they're not real expensive. Now, the thing that really attracted me to even thinking about the uh, Certina watches is the fact that they have the Powermatic 80. Not all of them, uh, but most of the three hand, uh, four hand, these, uh, they, they have a, a movement that uh, I had done a review of a while back is quite good. Now, why do I like them? First of all, they they run at three hertz, and the reason they run at three hertz is in large part was to expand the number of hours they could run. So that's <laughs> it's still though I I like the idea of three hertz. You don't beat up your uh, movement parts quite as fast. The other thing about it that I liked is that uh, I had thought, but I was wrong that all Powermatic 80s were COSC certified. In other words, they were all uh, chronometer level, but this wasn't right either. So let's take a look at the uh, Certinas. They have four different groupings, and we'll take a look at each one. Uh, first of all is the Aqua, and this particular one is called the DS Action GMT. And uh, it's a dual time watch, and it's the the aqua implies that it's a diver and that's okay <laughs> by the way too the powermatic uh is based on the eta 28 uh 24-2 the other thing is is that uh notice that this one says 80.661 all of the powermatics that have 80.6 whatever are they have a a metal reg uh, escapement Okay, it's a regular escapement. It's nothing, nothing fancy about it. And so this is the uh, this is the first one or the first group. The second one is that I'm going to look at. It's called the Heritage. And here you have two very different watches in the Heritage. One is called the DS Chronograph, and it's got a ETA Valjoux 7750 base in it. Again, these are all owned by Swatch and ETA. And the other is a, it's called the DS Super PH500M for 500 meters, even though this is, is part of what they call their heritage. It's got a rubber strap, looks a lot like a diver. <laughs> I don't know how it escaped from the, uh, the aqua group, but it did. And it's now in the heritage group. Uh, the third and fourth are, it's called the sports and the urban. The sports are, for the most part, Chronographs, and one of the thing about the chronograph, first of all, instead of the uh, Valjoux 7750, it's based on the Lamania 5100. It's a pretty nice, nice uh, uh, movement for a chronograph. Uh, and the chronograph, this particular chronograph, was called the DS Podium. The and the Urban watches are essentially, as I see them, they're uh, office watches. Now the prices is you, you, the CHF. This one on the left is uh, nine thirty-five, and the one on the right is eight hundred and thirty Swiss francs. Now th this includes about a ten percent VAT, so you figure they're about roughly ten percent less than that. Uh, so you're talking about like uh, oh around seven hundred and eighty uh, something like that for your instead of 935 uh and the same thing with the 830 but um one of the things about that is is that when 
because they're not that well known, they're not that popular over here, we find a lot of really good buys on these watches. So you can find these watches around five and six hundred dollars if you take a look at them. Now, one of the last things, uh, oh, by the way, too, again, you have a Powermatic 80.651. None of these, none of this um, Certino watches have the COSC. What it is, here's an example of one of the Swatch watches with the COSC. This is a Tissot, Tissot um, Ballade Powermatic 80 COSC. And right in the name, they have COSC. And a thing about a COSC certified watch is that they can then put chronometer on the dial. And as you can see here, this uh, Tissot has it. You're not going to find those on the Certina, though, except in the quartz ones. And the quartz ones, the quartz ones, they do have a quartz uh, COSC. Well, listen, uh, if you're looking for an economical watch, this might be a brand you might want to take a look at. I would go to some of the secondary markets, and, and I, I think you can find some really great deals on this. If you own a Certina, um, let me know. Tell me how you like it. One person who does own them, he just loves them. So this may be something, especially if you're on a budget, that you might want to take a look at. You get the Powermatic 80, and you get a 3 hertz watch. Till next time, this is Bill Sanders for Watch Art, Side of the Art and Science of Watch Collection.